Side annotation never made sense to me in networking. The slash 24, I didn't get what that meant. So I'm going to try to teach you what that means using this rope. Now let's pretend this rope is every IPv4 address that we have. The, the entire internet. All 4.2 billion IP addresses. This is what we would, I guess, call a slash 1. It's one piece. It's a 4 billion addresses right here. If I have a slash two, that means I divide it by two. I have four billion addresses, and I divide it by two. My four billion addresses, when I divide them in two, gives me two billion addresses. 4.2 billion ends up being 2.1. If I do a slash three, I take this segment, and I divide it in half again. I went from 2 billion in a slash 2, 2.1 billion or whatever, to 1 billion addresses. This is 1 billion IP addresses in a slash 3. My 4 billion, I divide it by 2, and then I take that and I divide it by 2. I take that and I divide it by 2. It's not 4 billion divided by 4. It's 4 billion divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by... It, it keeps it compounding. So every number in the slash, every number in the cider, is half as large. If you want to see why a slash 32 is one IP address, because 2 to the 32 is all of our IP addresses. That equals 4.2 billion addresses. So when you want to calculate out, say a slash 24 is a good place to start, because a slash 24 is 256 addresses. Once you have your 256 addresses, if you Go down by one. If you go to slash 23, you're going to take that and divide it in half. So you get 128. This is a slash 4 from my rope. Uh, this is still a lot of IP addresses because a class A is like a slash 8. Um, so this is still a ton of IP addresses, but you get smaller and smaller and smaller. So ciders, don't think of it as a number that directly relates. Think of it as dividing by how many times. And then once you start from that, you can double it or divide it in half every time you go up or down from that cider range.